Today on an all-new Dr. Phil, she's a sugar baby. I get gifts all the time. How is that not selling yourself? Her family doesn't know. How does my sister get these nice things? Your mama's boy. Mom pays all your bills. Ask her who pays all of hers. But what happens? Rich men buying me stuff. Is that what you really want for your life? When they find out. This is a new era. People date differently. I never thought of dating as involving a transaction. Let's do it. Is a safe place to talk about hard things. Stand by, Dr. Phil. I try to be an emotional compass and point you in the right direction. Be five, four. I am not giving up on you. Go, Dr. Phil. question for you. How would you like to have someone give you designer handbags, take you on lavish vacations, you know, take you to Miami, take you on a $5,000 shopping spree? Hey, I'm not Oprah. Just calm down. Give you expensive lingerie or buy you luxury perfumes and all you have to do is show up, look pretty, and have a little dinner and conversation. Well, that's what our first guest says she does for a living. 23-year-old Michelle says she's a sugar baby. A young woman who dates older men called sugar daddies for monetary perks. But Michelle has one huge problem. Her family does not know what she does for a living. They do not know about her lifestyle. They think she moved out to the West Coast to attend a prestigious university here in Southern California. But the only thing she seems to be learning how to get uh, are money and gifts from older, wealthy men. Now, Michelle says she has been estranged from her brother Mike for seven months, and she wants my help in revealing her secret. ...in cash, and I've gotten about twenty to 30000 in gifts. This is some of the stuff I've gotten for my sugar daddies. I've gotten a Louis Vuitton bag. I've gotten a Gucci bag. I've gotten countless amount of perfumes, gift cards, flowers. In exchange for money, I am giving them my time. I have a strict no sex time. I have a strict no sex policy. I have kissed them, but we've never had sex. I'm not a prostitute. The oldest person that I went on a date with was over 50. I've never dated anybody on this website in their 20s. The most sugar daddies I've ever had at any one time is four. I haven't seen my father or my brother Mike in seven months. They don't know that I'm a sugar baby and I want to reveal to them today. Being a sugar baby is the best job in the world. It's like so easy. You go on a date, you eat good food, and then you get paid. You're like a little princess. That's where I find my happiness and if you don't like it, I think you should mind your own business. Okay, um, that last comment sounded like you do seem a little defensive about this. Correct, because some people see it as something that's wrong. You know, they have a negative stereotype towards it. <laughs> but you um, understand most people think these are just hookers. Yeah, most people think that, you know, it's a, a form of prostitution. Right. And um, I totally don't agree with it. And I think that... Because you say you don't okay. do that at no, all. No, I don't sleep around. I've never slept around with any of them. And if you go to my webpage, it strictly says on there, if you're looking for one night stand, I'm not the one for you. So... Um, well, let's look at your webpage. Okay. You, you, this is your web page. Correct. And you, you say on there, are you looking for a sex partner? Then I'm not your person. Yes. But then I look to the left, <laughs> and you seem to have some really provocative pictures up there. Yes, correct. I, have pro I do put those pictures up there because those are just pictures I always take. I'm young, you know, um, and... I mean, so I think that men like it. If they like what they see and they like what they read, then they can go forth and go ahead and message me, and then we have a conversation. But those are kind of conflicting messages, right? This isn't about sex, but woohoo, look here. I know. Well, I, I mean, yeah, it isn't about sex, but I mean, I just want to show what I look like, you know, so that there's no deceiving pictures on there, you know, 
just like on any other website, you think you're going on a date with somebody and they only have a picture from the face up or yeah. whatever. And then expectation, it says negotiable. What does that mean? So, I mean, I don't have a set limit. You know, I have a couple of girlfriends on this site, and they do say, um, and they have like a $10,000 limit. Like, I need a $10,000 allowance per month. And it's negotiable for me because I'm not... Um, I, I don't have a set limit. I don't, like, $1,000, $2,000. It depends. Um, some men want to see you three times a week. Some men only want to travel with you. Everything is different, so I can't set a limit, $10,000, to, like, I have, it can't have a limit. That's why it's negotiable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now, um, you were working retail. in a retail, and you said it didn't meet your financial needs. Correct. I've, I worked retail all my life. Well, maybe your financial needs were too high. I mean, maybe you just need to lower your financial needs. Yeah, that's true. But, I mean, if I can be taken care of and um, there's people willing to spend their money on young girls who are... I don't plan to do this for the rest of my life. It's definitely not something. It's, you know, I'm supposed to be in school. Um, well, are you a college student? I'm a college student, but I'm not attending this semester. But, yes, when I joined the site, I was in school, and I was going to school. You might should be a lawyer because you talk in riddles a lot because <laughs> you say, I'm not interested in sex, but whoo, look at these pictures. Then you say, I'm a college student, but I'm not in I'm like, right now, semester, yes. but I'm not interested in sex, but I'm negotiable. But the, but the, goal. But I, the goal is to finish school, correct, um, and my major is business administration, and I do aspire to be an entertainment lawyer someday, so yeah. You're on the right path. Yeah. <laughs> and you say that you're, you're not a prostitute. You say, I don't want, I'm not a prostitute. I don't want to be treated like one. I'm not about one night stands. Correct. But you say if the chemistry's there, then okay. I know. I'm not. I mean, if the chemistry. So right off the back, it's no sex. I have a no sex policy. So if you think on the first date you're going to take me to a hotel and sleep with me, it's definitely not what's going to happen. Okay, so that happened on the first date, but if the chemistry's there. I mean, if we establish a relationship just like you would on any other dating site, you know. And but I'm, you still expect to be paid. Oh, I get, I get gifts all the time, yeah. So the, the perk of this website and the pros is just that, you know, there's really no cons. You go on dates with these people, you offer your time, they take you shopping, they buy you gift cards, they, you eat at nice restaurants, you can go to the Versace Mansion, stay there for a week, and you can just experience life while I'm young and able and single. How is that not selling yourself? I don't feel like I'm selling myself because I'm not sleeping around with these you men. You don't go, go for free if they say, okay, here's the negotiation. I won't pay, you just come over and hang with me. No, no, no. So you only go if you're paid. No, How is that not no, selling I don't yourself? No, only if I'm paid. So the, ex the first date usually goes like we, we talk online and then um, after we message and I see that they're not, like they're not total creeps, um, we'll exchange information. And you know that how? Uh, like, well, we go back and forth through messages. And then after oh. that, we'll go to email. Then we go to email. Then I'll release my telephone number. And then we'll do a FaceTime and see who you say you are and look what you, your pictures say, look oh like, you know? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I had boys. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Okay, so next, Michelle's brother is here, Mike. He does not know about her sugar baby lifestyle. She also admits to being on the outs with him after she sped out of town with a prized possession of his. Then you want to tell him what you do. Correct. You're going to reveal this to him. You're going to let him know. I am. Okay, after the break, we'll be right back. The most important thing in Michelle's world is money. Michelle's always been the type of person to have nice things. So how does Michelle get all these nice things? I mean, that's that's the golden question. And later, she wants to share some things with you that are breaking news. So Michelle, the floor is yours. Millions watched as we put bullies. I told you. And the victims of bullies. When she would hit me in my head, hit the locker. All together in the same house. Tomorrow. I want to go! I want to go home! It's the parents in the hot seat. Is she having sex with a 47-year-old? I hope not. You're her mother. The drama continues. Please stop! Please get out! 
which moms are giving in. I want to go home. My daughter's upset. And which ones... You know this is the one thing I didn't want. ...are taking a stand. I told you I'll be good. Don't do it. That's tomorrow. Two years ago, my brother Mike got into a motorcycle accident and he needed a car. I have good credit, so I put the car in my name. So seven months ago, I was visiting home and I got into a fight with my mom over her not lending me a car. So I took back the car that I had signed for Mike. So I ended up driving Mike's car to LA and I still drive it today. I use this car to go see my sugar daddies. So Mike is still carless and he's still living about the whole situation. Well, 23 year old Michelle is a self professed sugar baby, a young woman who dates and has relationships with older men for gifts, trips, and money. Even though her family thinks she's attending a highly esteemed university in Southern California, she is really here to get help breaking the news to her family, who she claims does not know her secrets. Her relationship with her brother Mike is especially fractured with their last fight resulting in her speeding out of town in his Mustang. Here's what Mike has to say about his little sister. Two years ago for a graduation gift, my mom bought me a Mustang, put it under my sister's name so that we could build her credit up. So seven months ago, my mom and sister get in a fight. Next thing you know, she takes my car back to California. I was definitely angry. That's my car. I earned that car. It was a graduation gift. That's basically Since then, I haven't talked to my sister, and my sister is probably one of the most hard-headed people you'll ever meet. The most important thing in Michelle's world is money. She's definitely spoiled. I believe my sister would pick money over family. She's done it before. She is very superficial. Michelle's always been the type of person to have nice things. $800 glasses. So how does Michelle get all these nice things? I mean, that's, that's the golden question. I have no idea. It's a real possibility that she could be getting into trouble. I don't put anything past her. She's an immature, spoiled brat, and she needs to grow up. Immature, spoiled brat. Say hello to your sister. You Hi, Michelle. Seen her it's so been a months. while. I haven't talked to you in a while. <laughs> so last time you, you, by the way. you saw her, she was in what you say is your car that you earned and My are entitled car, yeah. to, and she hopped in it and left town. So you're, she has your Mustang here in L.A. <laughs> yeah. that she took from Texas and headed back here. Why did she take your car? It was, uh, from what I heard, I was out of town at the time. Uh, she got in a fight with my mom and threw a tantrum, basically, and took off with it. And no, that's not true. It's not true. No, I also. definitely, um, we had gotten into an argument, and I figured I need to run some errands while I'm in town visiting. Uh, why can't I use the car? So then I was like, okay, well, I'll just take what's mine. You know, I signed my name on that dotted line, so it doesn't matter who's making the payments. At the end of the day, it's registered to me legally. It's mine. Put yourself in my position, right? You what had if a suspended it was your... license, Mike. Do you I have it right license. now? Okay, well, that's a valid point. A reason. That's a valid point. But yeah. Is my license suspended now? Well, it's not now. So what's the excuse? Why can't I have it back? You can't have it back because now it's mine and I'm using it. Dr. And Phil. And I started taking over payments. I if... started taking over payments. Oh, you, you have a sister, correct? Yes. <laughs> All right. I did my research, right? Yes, I have three of them. <laughs> All right. I'm sure you work hard for your degrees, right? And what happens if your sister just takes your car and doesn't want to give it back to you? That's something that, and I don't know if you guys know, but I was in a motor ac motorcycle accident, you know, so they did that for me. Um, just so, just because parents love you, right? They don't want you to crash and die again like I was very close to. No, you're a mama's boy. That's the problem. Oh, so I'm a mama's boy. You're a mama's boy. Your mom pays all your bills. Maybe so, that's why okay, you're so, so mad you're, at me. So she says your mother pays all He's of your bills. Boy. Ask her who pays all of hers. <laughs> well, who pays my... Let's just get to it. Yeah, let's get to it. Okay, let's get to it. Let's just ask her who pays all of her bills. Ask her that question. Okay, who pays all your bills? Some rich, older, successful men who want to spend their money on me. Is that working? Is that working? The yeah, it's working. Explain to him what you do for a job. Um, so I'm on a website. Rich, successful men buy you things and all you offer them is your time. And I have a no sex policy, so I go out with them, go to dinner with them. They buy me stuff. And that's the way I live. Is that what you really want for your life, though? No, because this is only temporarily. Have you ever heard 
the term sugar daddy? All the time. Do you, if you heard the term sugar baby? From you right now? <laughs> well, your sister is a sugar baby. She goes on this website where affluent men go and sign up, older men, and young girls come on there and they form relationships, they become sugar babies with sugar daddies who pay their bills and buy them stuff and take care of them financially. And they, she says she doesn't have sex with them, that they just, she's arm candy, they just buy her stuff. And uh, I actually made a list in the last uh, three years. Um, they've, she says she's accumulated $80,000 worth yeah. of cash and gifts and uh, purses and trips and shopping sprees and cash and rent and spa days and all of these lavish things that pay her bills and that's how impressive that's how she lives she that's how she gets by right mm -hmm. that's what that's you do so i don't ask and your car Oh, see, why can't there be a car on top of that so I can get well, my car back? I'm working on that, honey. I'm working on that. I'm working on it. As soon as I get a Bentley or Rolls Royce, I'll go and drop you off your Mustang when I upgrade the car. And this is not what you it. want for your sister. I, I don't. We love her so much, and that's what we wanted to know. We, we love you to death. We want what's best for you. Um, Let's add Michelle's uh, and Mike's father to this. We're going to take a break. When we come back, Sergio is going to join us. Uh, now this daddy's girl is going to explain daddy. that she not only has a daddy, but a sugar daddy. In fact, she's had like 30 of them. Uh, she's going to reveal that to her father after the break. She wants to share some things with you that are breaking news. So, Michelle, the floor is yours. My mom drinks every day, all day. Do you drive impaired with the children in the car? Now, don't put your head down. Stay with me here. My life right now is working okay. You're paying a guy to choke you to death in the woods. That's not working. She's posting that you killed your own baby. Watch your mouth, okay? Hey, don't talk to me like that. Excuse me? Lots like father. We caught dog crushing and snorting pills in the bathroom. Like daughter? My daughter crushed the candy. Who told you how to do that? Daddy. I would never teach that to a child. He's his wife real. We've never met. You're sending her $100,000. For a Nigerian love scam. I know some things about Kelly you don't know. Her parents. They do not exist. It all happens. What if this is a changing day in your life? This February. So when she comes out of rehab and starts drinking, where does she get it? Me on Dr. Phil. You have no idea how much I want to slap you right now. I've been talking to Michelle and her brother Mike, who calls her a spoiled materialistic brat and a rich people moocher. Uh, so he wasn't far off of what actually her chosen career path is at this point. There's a family feud going on. Their father, Sergio, says he's caught in the middle. Here's what he has to say. Michelle's been a stubborn child from the beginning. Right now, for the last seven months, there's a fight that's been going on, and I think it's way too long. Oh, I'm the only family member communicating with Michelle. It hurts me as a father that she doesn't come home for the holidays. I do feel like I'm caught in the middle of a big family drama. We've got my son on one side that's pissed off about the car, and on the other side, we've got my daughter that believes that the car is hers. It's a hard situation. Over the last three years, I've given more money to Michael and very little money to Michelle. So I do give her a lot of credit at age 23 to support herself. I am very proud of her. So I have always played the role of peacemaker in the family, and I just want to see a result so we can be a family again. 
Sergio, it's good to meet you, sir. Same here, uh, Dr. Phil. You, as any father, are concerned about the rift that's going on in your family. Definitely so. You don't like the fact that these two are kind of going at each other. Going at each other, yes. Sir. And uh, you're proud of both of them. And Very proud. But you want them to be uh, connected again. That is correct. Uh, and you've been to college, right? Correct. And uh, kinesiology? Yes, sir. And uh, did you continue on after your bachelor's degree? I got a master's. So, so you're, you're going on. And so you're proud of that, the fact that he's, he, he's continued his education and all? Very proud. And that's why we want the same thing for Michelle. Right. And she's out here going to college. Yes. And working in retail. Correct. And moving her path along. She wants to share some things with you that are, I kind of guess, breaking news. Uh, Michelle says she has a secret that she needs to reveal to her father today. So, Michelle, the floor is yours. I am actually not working at, re at a retail job. Um, you are or not? I'm not. Oh. And I um, am not enrolled in school this semester, um, but right now I'm getting by on a website where you can pretty much go on dates with these men and they'll buy you gifts and they'll shower you with whatever, either it's financially, uh, gift cards, you know, shopping sprees, purses, perfumes, whatever it is that you like cash, when you go on the dates, cash, trips, trips, everything all paid for, just for in exchange for your time. <laughs> <sighs> well, that's not uh, morally how we tried to bring you up. Um, we and it kind of leaves you speechless. To me, it shocks me. Do you object to this? Oh, definitely object to that. What's your objection? Uh, objection being, once again, uh, morally, and that's not what we tried to instill in the kids. She says, I'm not a prostitute. Yeah. She says, I, I, I won't meet you at a hotel and, and have sex. If, yeah. You know, if we have chemistry, then I'm negotiable, but I, if we have chemistry, like any relationship, uh, but she expects to be paid. Uh, it's not that I expect to be paid. I think it's more like I, that being on that website, you know that you're going to get things, you're going to be showered with gifts. Like that's, it's, it's different. I have everything to gain and nothing to lose. If somebody's willing to spend their hard-earned money that they work for on you, then that's their own deal, you know, like that they decided they can spend their money on whoever they want, however they like, you know, and if they're, and if I told them that I don't want to sleep with them and they're okay with it and they want to continue seeing me or going to dinner, all we ever do is really go to dinner, nice fancy dinners. And, I mean, it's not a big deal. Like, this is a new era. This is a 1908. This is 2015. People date differently. I just have to tell you, I, I, I disagree that you have everything to gain and nothing to lose. <laughs> I, just, um, um, my, I, I, my wife, Robin, we've been married 38 years, and she always says character is much easier kept than recovered. And um, yeah, Dr. Phil, I was I was I was about to say, well, you're a father, and it's it's very hard, you know, what I'm hearing. My parents always taught me you're gonna earn, you're gonna go out there and work for whatever that you need. So, well, so. I don't think. I, I never thought of dating as involving a transaction. Oh, I mean, I well, never slid up next yeah. to a girl and said, hey, I'll give you 20 bucks to go to the dance with me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I might good. spend 20 bucks on them to go to the dance with me, but, yeah. that would be cool. I, you know, I, yeah. by taking them to dinner or something, but this is a transaction. I mean, yeah. they're, and you say, oh, I, I would go for free. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, well, if you're going to pay for dinner like any other man on, on a regular date would. They pay that's for called that's dating. Fine with you're me. going that's on fine. a site and you're verifying their income and you're working out the transaction before you go, right? You go on a regular date. I talk to them before and I ask them, like straight out the bat, are you looking for someone to sleep with on the first day? Are you, what are you looking for in a girl? How many times do you want to go out on dates with somebody? Like, see. How them? do you set your price? I don't have a price. It's well, how, negotiable, I mean, like it says on well, the why are you? Why have you made 80000 instead of 800 Why do you not have a Bentley? Uh, are you working cheap? No, I'm not working. <laughs> no, that's, I mean, I do want a Bentley. I have been offered one, but I didn't want to like be in a committed relationship.
relationship with this guy who like seriously wanted to like settle down and I was like I mean the car and everything sounds great but I mean I'm not gonna run to the altar like some people you can meet a successful relationship off this site who's to say that you can't that you can't end up dating somebody and being like you know really involved with somebody I know people that have had success stories well, yeah. with somebody on okay, there we gotta we got take a quick break dad hasn't seen her profile page or what Michelle is looking for in a sugar daddy so we'll take a look at that when we come back doesn't want to be taken care of. Why do you need somebody to take care of you? Why don't, why don't you take care of yourself? Mm. Closed captioning provided by... My brother Mike is a big mama's boy. He has been since day one. The difference between both of us is he depends financially on my parents at 26 years old and I don't. In three years I haven't asked them for a penny. So somebody tells me they don't agree with my decision to be on the Sugar Baby website. All I gotta say is, you know, it's my life and I make my own choices. I am independent and proud. Now in the U.S. over one million college students are sugar babies. They've signed up and are doing this and getting money uh, for spending time with people. Let me ask you this. If you were to meet a guy, let's just say you're out jogging at the track or mm -hmm. something and you meet a guy and you really like him and y'all start dating and chemistry clicks and you, you like each other, mm -hmm. are you going to have any anxiety at all if he says, so tell me about yourself. Um, what have you been doing? And you said, well, actually, I've been dating older men for money for the last three years. Did, are you thinking that would be a, would that cause you any anxiety to no. reveal that to the love of your life? No. No, okay. I think that honesty is important and I'm not embarrassed to tell people that I'm on the site. I'm not embarrassed. Okay. At so all. you think guys would say, oh, no problem. Uh, yeah, Good. because, it will, do you want to take me off the site? You can go ahead and make that happen, and that'll be okay. I'll gladly sign off, you know, if you're going to, you know. What girl doesn't want to be taken care of? I'm young, I'm single, like, travel, have fun. Like, you have nothing, like, what, what am I losing here? Now here's her profile page. Let's take a look at her profile page, um, Dad, just so you know. You can see in the top of the second paragraph. Uh, she points out, if you're looking for a sex partner, just get off my page. That's not me. I'm not a prostitute. don't want to be treated like one. Uh, I'm not a one-night stand. But, you know, if we have chemistry, I'm negotiable. Then she does have some pretty provocative pictures up on the uh, side there. Uh, people are trying to people that have their own life, have their own goals, have their own agenda. But I still have goals. I I know, but I it's, still it have goals. Out. This is temporarily. I don't plan to do this when I'm 60 okay, years old. Like, I'm not saying that, that I'm going to be on this side forever. It's like I'm not going to be 100 years old on this side still mooching off men. You said what girl doesn't want to be taken care of? If you met a guy and you said you'd get off the side if he wanted to take care of you, mm -hmm. you refer to this as mooching off men. Why do you need somebody to take care of you? Why don't, why don't you take care of yourself? Mm -hmm. I mean, I, that, that, that's a mindset that. That's a mindset that I think belittles you. And if you think when you go to apply to a law school or to apply for a job, mm -hmm. you're right. It is 2015. They will do a search on you, and they will see all of this, and they may go, hmm, she may seem entitled. She may not be the best candidate for employment because she seems to be someone that's entitled and wants to be given things. I'm just saying that may not look great on your history. You just might want to consider that. Mm -hmm. Moving forward, what do I know? I'm from the last generation, as are you. Yes. So yes. I think you guys should discuss this, but you wanted it out there. It's out there. Maybe you'll get your Mustang back. Maybe you won't. If I don't, it's not your fault. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. I want you guys to listen to this next story. Yes. I, really, uh, yes, the last time they were here, former guest Ashley dropped a bomb on her fiancé, Caesar when she revealed she was a sugar baby during the course of their engagement. Oh, Did Caesar that. stay or leave? The shocking update when we come back. <laughs> I was a sugar baby for five years. You have a fiance. I do. He doesn't know. She says that she stopped going on these dates. Are you able 
to let that go. Tomorrow on an all-new Dr. Phil, their daughters I want to go out. are young and troubled. Where are you when she's running the streets? I always have a thousand things to do. You're her mother. I want to go! That's tomorrow. Closed captioning provided by... A few months ago, engaged couple Ashley and Caesar sat right here on this stage as Ashley dropped the bomb that she had been a sugar baby throughout their relationship. Take a look. I was a sugar baby for five years. At any time, I could have five to ten different sugar daddies. My favorite gift was a Bentley. I've gotten Louis Vuitton gifts, lavish vacations. You have a fiance. I do. He doesn't know. The truth is, she meets men over a website. She says that she stopped going on these dates. Are you able to let that go? What is the absolute drop-dead truth? Are you still going to the website? Yes. You're not comfortable with her being involved in it? Of course not. She's either going to have to stop this completely or... You're Stupid. Well, no, but they, that's why I don't have a lot of it. But they're, they're giving caring you... Caring is caring. That's all I have to say. And if they're going to share it with me, then that's fine. Okay. They're giving you money just for uh, nothing? No. Yeah. Well, I don't mean, they either well, hoping... I'm getting me a wig. <laughs> <laughs> People want to give... <laughs> okay, we got to take a break. Caesar says he and Ashley now go on the website together as she chats with men who send her money. So, does that make Caesar like a co-sugar baby conspirator yes. and a money-hungry husband? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. We'll be right back. <laughs> hey, Dr. Phil here. Did you know that more than 16 million kids in the U.S. are at risk of hunger each day? Join me and visit feedingamerica.org slash hunger to find your local food bank to help. I'm Dr. Phil, and together, we are Feeding America. We have a lot of fun here in the studio audience. If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and you would like free tickets, go to drphil.com and click Be In The Audience, or you can call 323-461-PHIL. That's 323-461-7445. Ashley revealed the truth about what the sugar baby was, showed me the website. Now we both go to the website, look at her profile, and see what messages comes on. I understand it now. If I was in her shoes, I would, I would do the same thing, too. Oh, well, I'm talking with Ashley and Caesar, who were here a few months ago when Ashley revealed to Caesar that she was a sugar baby and had taken over a half a million dollars from wealthy men during the course of their relationship. Now, y'all have been together how long? On and off for three years. And during that three years, you took a half a million dollars. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ran with it. <laughs> <laughs> She's just starting. Hey, you want my number? <laughs> <laughs> Please, no. At first, Caesar was he shocked. He understand. Viewers thought he would leave Ashley after the show. They thought he's out of there, but no, no he I stayed. Yeah. Not only did he stay, they got married, and she is now six weeks pregnant. Now... Ashley is still trolling the Sugar Baby website, but now Caesar is by her side, and they're taking the money straight to the bank. So you have like an account, right? Uh -huh. And they, they just deposit this in there. And so here's what you're doing with the money. You put like 10000 in savings. Uh, you're remodeling the house for 15 grand, the baby's nursery, five grand, college fund, 25,000 bucks. So 55,000 of it you've spent this way. I wish remodeling cost 15,000. I'll take that. But well, no, that's how much you more. spent so far, right? Or is that, yeah. is it more than well, that? Well, I work it's on it that, too. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, you work on yeah. it too. So it's more than that. Yeah, way more than that. Way more. How much more? Like around 75, 80. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, we got these numbers from you, but they were a few days ago. So. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, and I got to check right now. I mean, it's been an hour since I've been here. So. Does, does, <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> does, it, does it bother you that no. other men 
are giving money to your now wife? Well, the thing is, it's... Because i got to tell you, I, they obviously would not. <laughs> it would bother me if other men were giving my wife money. Yeah, I, 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 call me old-fashioned. Call me old-fashioned, but that would just be uh, an intrusion to the intimacy barrier. I don't want other men giving my wife money. Obviously, we don't have an intimacy barrier, so we're good. No, the way no I, you don't, the but way I was just asking you. The way you. I see it is just, no, it's, it's stepping out of your comfort zone. It's, uh, you know, we're, we're in the new times, and it's kind of something that you, the old ways, it wasn't that, that way that we should do it, but now things change so much, and to me, the way I see it is someone's willing to give us money, and we just laugh about it. It's like, okay, well, that's their problem. The well, you know, I heard her say that, too, and, I, you know, I kind of feel like, whether it's 1915 or 2015, true north on the moral compass is still true north. I mean, it is. There's nothing wrong with what we're doing orally. They know. They know what they're doing. They know I'm married. They know I'm pregnant. If they want to keep on giving me money and hope that my relationship falls apart, which obviously it's not, then okay, so be it. I'm telling them the truth, so my morals are there. They've always been there. So you're not responding to. No, it. I know. I know I'm responding. I'm married now. So. Okay, but well, I'm with him there. You're not. Yeah, we're there together. We see the site. He has my password. He has everything, and we're just laugh. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> it's a real knee slapper. All right, as expected, viewers have a lot to say on Twitter. So we're going to look at some of that when we come back. Yeah. Closed captioning provided by... The Tavern Double Burger and Bottomless Fries for just $6.99. The perfect way to satisfy your meat tooth. 24 burgers, a million reasons. Hey, Robin. Yum. Constipation and belly pain feel like a knot. How can I ease this pain? When I can't go, it's like bricks piling up. I wish I could find some relief. Ask your doctor about Linzess, a once daily capsule for adults with IBS with constipation or chronic idiopathic constipation. Linzess is thought to help calm pain sensing nerves and accelerate bowel movements. It helps you proactively manage your symptoms. Do not give Linzess to children under 6, and it should not be given to children 6 to 17. It may harm them. Don't take Linzess if you have a bowel blockage. Get immediate help if you develop unusual or severe stomach pain, especially with bloody or black stools. The most common side effect is diarrhea, sometimes severe. If it's severe, stop taking Linzess and call your doctor right away. Other side effects include gas, stomach area pain, and swelling. Bottom line, ask your doctor about Linzess today. In tough times, we all need a lending hand. After Chuck had his stroke, we decided as a family that it was better for Chuck to be home. He was able to continue doing the things that he liked to do from home and still have that good medical care that he needed. MedStaffers was able to provide that for us. Since I've been working at MedStaffers, which has been almost eight years, I have worked with one client only. Being part of the MedStaffers family allows me to lend that hand. I always worked hard, now I work smarter. Earn a degree from Burke's Technical Institute in today's fast-growing healthcare field, and you'll finally see your hard work pay off. BTI's hands-on training, individual attention, and instructors with real-world experience help to ensure that you're successful in your new career. If you're worried you can't afford to follow your dream, financial aid is available for those who qualify. Click or call today to receive our free information guide, Burke's Technical Institute. It's time to work smarter. Calcano and Rossi are double board certified vein experts. As a nurse, I was on my feet eight to ten hours every day for years. They're central Pennsylvania's only surgeons who focus exclusively on vein care. The procedure didn't hurt and I was back on my feet the next day. And it was covered by my insurance. Go ahead and do it. Call 888-310-4252. Coming up on Dr. Phil, visit our website and subscribe to our email newsletter. You'll get weekly updates, life strategies, and exclusive video that you won't find anywhere else. Plus, on drphil.com, you can see sneak previews of upcoming shows. Log on today. Wow, my fans are going nuts on Twitter 
uh, over my two sugar baby guests and their families. Um, so, uh, at Janet Fuller says, it's called greed. You don't get something for nothing and then laugh about it. Uh, hashtag time to be honest. Uh, yeah, people have a lot to say. I want to thank all of my guests today. On a personal note, I want to take a minute to thank everybody uh, for making my new book, The 2020 Diet, Turn Your Weight Loss Vision into Reality, what has now become the absolute runaway number one book in the country. So thank everybody at home. You know, I, I wrote this book, it's the first time I've written about weight in 10 years, and I waited that long because I didn't want to do it until there was something new to say. And there's been so much emerging science and research that uh, I, I finally did it after doing a national survey about why diets are failing, and I've been so proud of the success stories that we're getting from coming in, uh, doing this in a responsible way, and people getting results. So thank you for making it number one. So in celebration of that, everybody in the audience is going home with a coffee. All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Guys, congratulations. He's a sugar baby. A young woman who dates older men called sugar daddies for monetary perks. But Michelle has one huge problem. Her family does not know what she does for a living. They do not know about her lifestyle. They think she moved out to the West Coast to attend a prestigious university here in Southern California. But the only thing she seems to be learning how to get uh, are money and gifts from older, wealthy men. Now, Michelle says she has been estranged from her brother Mike for seven months, and she wants my help in revealing her secret. ...in cash, and I've gotten about twenty to 30000 in gifts. This is some of the stuff I've gotten for my sugar daddies. I've gotten a Louis Vuitton bag. I've gotten a Gucci bag. I've gotten countless amount of perfumes, gift cards, flowers. In exchange for money, I am giving them my time. I have a strict no sex time. I have a strict no sex policy. I have kissed them, but we've never had sex. I'm not a prostitute. The oldest person that I went on a date with was over 50. I've never dated anybody on this website in their 20s. The most sugar daddies I've ever had at any one time is four. I haven't seen my father or my brother Mike in seven months. They don't know that I'm a sugar baby and I want to reveal to them today. Being a sugar baby is... The last seven months there's a fight that's been going on and I think it's way too long. Oh, I'm the only family member communicating with Michelle. It hurts me as a father that she doesn't come home for the holidays. I do feel like I'm caught in the middle of a big family drama. We've got my son on one side that's pissed off about the car and on the other side we've got my daughter that believes that the car is hers. It's a hard situation. Over the last three years I've given more money to Michael and very little money to Michelle. So I do give her a lot of credit at age 23 to support herself. I am very proud of her. So I have always played the role of peacemaker in the family. And I just want to see a result so we can be a family again. Sergio, it's good to meet you, sir. Same here, uh, Dr. Phil. You, as any father, are concerned about the rift that's going on in your family. Definitely so. You don't like the fact that these two are kind of going at each other. Going at each other, yes. Sir. And uh, you're proud of both of them. And Very proud. But you want them to be uh, connected again. That is correct. Uh, and you've been to college, right? Correct. And uh, kinesiology? Yes, sir. And uh, did you continue on after your bachelor's degree? I got a master's. So, so you're, you're going on? And so you're proud of that, the fact that he's, he, he's continued his education and all? Very proud. And that's why we want the same thing for Michelle. Right. And she's out here going to college. Yes. And working in retail. Correct. And moving her path along. Hey, I'm not Oprah. Just calm down. <laughs> Give you expensive lingerie or buy you luxury perfumes. And all you have to do is show up, look pretty and have a little dinner and conversation. Well, that's what our first guest says she does for a living. 
23-year-old Michelle says she's a sugar baby. A young woman who dates older men called sugar daddies for monetary perks. But Michelle has one huge problem. Her family does not know what she does for a living. They do not know about her lifestyle. They think she moved out to the West Coast to attend a prestigious university here in Southern California. But the only thing she seems to be learning how to get uh, are money and gifts from older, wealthy men. Now, Michelle says she has been estranged from her brother Mike for seven months, and she wants my help in revealing her secret. In cash, and I've gotten about twenty to 30000 in gifts. This is some of the stuff I've gotten for my sugar daddies. I've gotten a Louis Vuitton bag. I've gotten a Gucci bag. I've gotten countless amount of perfumes, gift cards, flowers. In exchange for money, I am giving them my time. I have a strict no sex time. I have a strict no sex policy. I have kissed them, but we've never had sex. I'm not a prostitute. There and they form relationships. They become sugar babies with sugar daddies who pay their bills and buy them stuff and take care of them financially. And they, she says she doesn't have sex with them, that they just, she's arm candy, they just buy her stuff. And uh, I actually made a list in the last uh, three years. Um, they've she says she's accumulated eighty thousand dollars worth yeah. of cash and gifts and uh purses and trips and shopping sprees and cash and rent and spa days and all of these lavish things that pay her bills and that's Pretty how impressive. that's how she lives. She that's how she gets by, right? Mm -hmm. That's what that's you do. So I don't ask. And your car. Oh, see, why can't there be a car on top of that so I can get well, my car back? I'm working on that, honey. I'm working on that. And this is not what you it. want for your sister. I, I don't. We love her so much, and that's what we wanted to know. We. Weeks policy. I have kissed them, but we've never had sex. I'm not a prostitute. The oldest person that I went on a date with was over 50. I've never dated anybody on this website in their 20s. The most sugar daddies I've ever had at any one time is four. I haven't seen my father or my brother Mike in seven months. They don't know that I'm a sugar baby, and I want to reveal to them today. Being a sugar baby is the best job in the world. It's like so easy. You go on a date, you eat good food, and then you get paid. You're like a little princess. That's where I find my happiness, and if you don't like it, I think you should mind your own business. Okay. Um, that last comment sounded like you do seem a little defensive about this. Correct. Because some people see it as something that's wrong. You know, they have a negative stereotype towards it. But you um, understand most people think these are just hookers. Yeah. Most people think that, you know, it's a, a form of prostitution. Right. And um, I totally don't agree with it. And I think that... Because you say you don't okay. do that at no, all. No, I don't sleep around. I've never slept around with any of them. And if you go to my webpage, it strictly says on there, if you're looking for one night stand, I'm not the one for you. So... Um, well, let's look at your webpage. Okay. You, you, this is your web page. Correct. And you, you say on there, are you looking for a sex partner? Then I'm not your person. Yes. But then Kelly, you don't know her parents. They do not exist. It all happens. What if this is a changing day in your life? This February. So when she comes out of rehab and starts drinking, where does she get it? Me on Dr. Bill. You have no idea how much I want to slap you right now. I've been talking to Michelle and her brother Mike, who calls her a spoiled materialistic brat and a rich people moocher. Uh, so he wasn't far off of what actually her chosen career path is at this point. There's a family feud going on. Their father, Sergio, says he's caught in the middle. Here's what he has to say. 
Michelle's been a stubborn child from the beginning. Right now, for the last seven months, there's a fight that's been going on, and I think it's way too long. Oh, I'm the only family member communicating with Michelle. It hurts me as a father that she doesn't come home for the holidays. I do feel like I'm caught in the middle of a big family drama. We've got my son on one side that's pissed off about the car, and on the other side, we've got my daughter that believes that the car is hers. It's a hard situation. Over the last three years, I've given more money to Michael and very little money to Michelle. So I do give her a lot of credit at age 23 to support herself. I am very proud of her. So I have always played the role of peacemaker in the family. And I just want to... This Mustang. Here's what Mike has to say about his little sister. Two years ago for a graduation gift, my mom bought me a Mustang, put it under my sister's name so that we could build her credit up. So seven months ago, my mom and sister get in a fight. Next thing you know, she takes my car back to California. I was definitely angry. That's my car. I earned that car. It was a graduation gift. That's basically Since then, I haven't talked to my sister, and my sister is probably one of the most hard-headed people you'll ever meet. The most important thing in Michelle's world is money. She's definitely spoiled. I believe my sister would pick money over family. She's done it before. She is very superficial. Michelle's always been the type of person to have nice things. $800 glasses. So how does Michelle get all these nice things? I mean, that's, that's the golden question. I have no idea. It's a real possibility that she could be getting into trouble. I don't put anything past her. She's an immature, spoiled brat, and she needs to grow up. Immature, spoiled brat. Say hello to your sister. You Hi, Michelle. Seen her in it's been a months. while. I haven't talked to you in a while. <laughs> so last time you, you, by the way. you saw her, she was in what you say is your car that you earned and My are car, entitled yeah. to, and she hopped in it and left town. So you're, she has your Mustang here in L.A. <laughs> yeah. that she took from Texas and headed back here. Why did she take your car? It was, uh, from what I heard. So you're not responding to No, him. I know. I know I'm respond. I'm married now, so. Okay. But I mean, with him there, you're not. Yeah, we're there together. We see the site. He today. has my password. He has everything, and we're just laugh. Yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real knee slapper. All right. As expected, viewers have a lot to say on Twitter. So we're going to look at some of that when we come back. Captioning provided by the Tavern Double Burger and Bottomless Fries for just $6.99. The perfect way to satisfy your meat tooth. 24 burgers, a million reasons. Hey, Robin. Yum. The constipation and belly pain feel like a knot. How can I ease this pain? When I can't go, it's like bricks piling up. I wish I could find some relief. Ask your doctor about Linzess, a once-daily capsule for adults with IBS with constipation or chronic idiopathic constipation. Linzess is thought to help calm pain-sensing nerves and accelerate bowel movements. It helps you proactively manage your symptoms. Do not give Linzess to children under 6, and it should not be given to children 6 to 17. It may harm them. Don't take Linzess if you have a bowel blockage. Get immediate help if you develop unusual or severe stomach pain, especially with bloody or black stools. The most common side effect is diarrhea. Best candidate for employment because she seems to be someone that's entitled and wants to be given things. I'm just saying that may not look great on your history. You just might want to consider that. Mm -hmm. Moving forward, what do I know? I'm from the last generation, as are you. Yes. So yes. I think you guys should discuss this, but you wanted it out there. It's out there. Maybe you'll get your Mustang back. Maybe you won't. If I don't, it's all your fault. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. I want you guys to listen to this next story. I, really, uh, yes, the last time they were here, former guest Ashley dropped a bomb on her fiancé, Caesar when she revealed she was a sugar baby during the course of their engagement. Oh, Did Caesar that. stay or leave? The shocking update when we come back. <laughs> I was a sugar baby for five years. You have a fiance. I do. He doesn't know. She says that she stopped going on these dates. Are you able to let that go? Tomorrow on an all-new Dr. Phil, their daughters. I want to go out! 
are young and troubled. Where are you when she's running the streets? I always have a thousand things to do. You're her mother. I want to go! That's tomorrow. Closed captioning provided by... Who seem a little defensive about this? Correct. Because some people see it as something that's wrong. You know, they have a negative stereotype towards it. But um, you understand most people think these are just hookers. Yeah. Most people think that, you know, it's a, a form of prostitution. Right. And um, I totally don't agree with it. And I think that... Because you say you don't okay. do that at no, all. No, I don't sleep around. I've never slept around with any of them. And if you go to my webpage, it strictly says on there, if you're looking for one night stand, I'm not the one for you. So, um... Well, let's look at your webpage. Okay. You, you, this is your web page. Correct. And you, you say on there, are you looking for a sex partner? Then I'm not your person. Yes. But then I look to the left, <laughs> and you seem to have some really provocative pictures up there. Yes, correct. I, have pro I do put those pictures up there because those are just pictures I always take. I'm young, you know, um, and... I mean, so I think that men like it. If they like what they see and they like what they read, then they can go forth and go ahead and message me, and then we have a conversation. But those are kind of conflicting messages, right? This isn't about sex, but woohoo, look here. I know. Well, I, I mean, yeah, it isn't about sex, but I mean, I just want to show what I look like, you know, so that there's no deceiving pictures on there, you know, just like on any other website, you think you're going on a date with somebody and they only have a picture from the face up or yeah. whatever. And then expectation is. It says, Eight differently. I just have to tell you, I, I, I disagree that you have everything to gain and nothing to lose. Okay. Uh, just, um, um, my, I, I, my wife, Robin, we've been married 38 years, and she always says character is much easier kept than recovered. And... Um, Yeah, Dr. Phil, I was, I, was, I was about to say, well, you're a father, and it's, it's very hard, you know, what I'm hearing. My parents always taught me you're going to earn, you're going to go out there and work for whatever that you need. So, well, I don't think, I, I never thought of dating as involving a transaction. Well, I mean, I never well, slid up a, next yeah. to a girl and said, hey, I'll get you 20 bucks to go to the dance with me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I might but... spend 20 bucks on him to go to the dance with me, but yeah. that would be cool. I, you know, I, yeah. by taking him to dinner or something. But this is a transaction. I mean, yeah. there. And you say, oh, I, I would go for free. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, well, if you're going to pay for dinner like any other man on on a regular date would. They pay that's for called dinner, that's dating. Fine with you're me. going that's on fine. a site and you're verifying their income. And you're working out the transaction before you go, right? You go on a regular date. I talked to them before, and I asked them, like, straight out the bat, are you looking for someone to sleep with on the